Hey guys, how are you doing? This is Madhvi from tarotcallyspeaking.com and today I'm going to be reviewing the very, 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 very cute and beautiful Dreaming Veil and Norman that has been drawn by none other than the lovely artist uh, Kwon Sheena and the accompanying book has been written by Lynn Arao Jo and <laughs> There we go. It's published by US Games, so you can totally buy it from Amazon. The link is in the video description. Hey guys, how are you doing? This is Madhvi from tarotcallyspeaking.com, your tarot blogger, deck and book reviewer, and maker of these awesome videos on YouTube. I'm also a tarot card reader and mentor and an author of this awesome book on tarot, which is available on Amazon, both paperback and Kindle all over the world. Now all of these links and more are in the description so do check that out and at the end of this video hit the like button, share it with your friends and if you haven't already subscribe to my channel for more such awesome tarot videos. So if you guys have been following along on my channel or if you're, if you're new to my channel I'll probably put a link up top. Uh, I have made a series of videos where I talk, you know, where I walk you through learning a deck. And the deck in question uh, was actually this lovely deck called the Dreaming Way Tarot. All right. And this, again, also published by US Games, was a lovely, it's a powerful deck. You can go check out that playlist, uh, you know, and, and learn the deck along with me. Now, while I was, you know, playing with this deck, I also discovered that the artist who drew that deck also created a Lenormand deck. So, you know, if, if, you're, if you're someone who likes to combine tarot readings with Lenormand readings, you want to put these two decks together, they play along so beautifully because, you know, the imagery, the artistry, the, the artwork, all of it sort of, you know, merges so well with each other. These two decks are just like made for each other. So I'm going to be reviewing the same, uh, you know, the same artist's work, uh, the Dreaming Veil and Norman. Uh, this is the deck. This is the box that it comes with, uh, comes in. And it's a very pretty sturdy box, uh, but <laughs> it's a little too tight. This one has always been <laughs> a bit uh to kind of get open but once it's open it's great <laughs> so for a time i used to put like a ribbon in it help me open it but yeah it's a great box to store it to you know it's sturdy and strong so i still keep my cards in there so just saying and it comes with this cute little booklet let's just go through it a little bit and in this booklet written by lynn you have all the information that you would need to work with this deck. There's a, a little bit of an introduction. Then we get into the cards. And, you know, it's pretty straightforward and simple. You have the card. You have a little poem. You also have the playing card connection for those of us who like to work with Lenormand and Cartomancy. There's write up about the cards, and then we have the keywords. And we go on like that for each of the cards. And yeah, this one has your standard 36 cards, no extra cards here and there. Uh, and I believe no extra man woman cards either, which is fine. And then you have reading with the Dreaming Whaler Norman how to do simple spreads. You start off with two cards, of course. Then you have your line of five. We have examples. Then you have the spiral spread, like so, which is interesting. I've never played with that. Okay, so, you know, simple, effective, to the point. This is brilliant, okay. And then, of course, we have the cards. This is a very interesting design on the cover of the card. This is, this is of course, the way what I like to call the bookend card. Uh, but you can definitely study the card back, that same design. Uh, that same person with the butterfly on his head. 
and wearing a, you know the Harlequin band is what I call them. Right? He just shows up in different ways, flying across rooftops <laughs> of the houses. It's very interesting. It's a very playful vibe actually to these cards. And as you know, Lenormand cards are not red reversed, therefore uh, it doesn't matter if the uh, back of the card is reversible, which actually this the fact that it's not reversible is very helpful because then without looking at the cards, I can put them straight up after I've mixed them all up, right, before shuffling or for shuffling, before reading. <laughs> so let's flip through the cards very quickly. You have the rider. Again, those of who, you who work with directions, okay, first of all, I don't think that directions come into play with the Lenormand card, but some, some you know, like who, who's looking where kind of a thing. I don't think that comes into play. But again, there are different schools of thought. So don't, uh, you know, hold me <laughs> accountable to this. I, I don't look at the directions, but those of you who do look at directions might find it a tad bit confusing because the horse is going in this direction but the character is looking the other way so what's going on right that can affect some people who are doing readings with this deck who, who have that whole thing with the directions where's the character looking where's the scythe pointing you know i i just go left and right and just go with that make my life simpler because deck to deck, I don't want to change the card meanings. You know what I'm saying? Hey. Clover. <laughs> Ship. I think this, this is artistic interpretation, right? To some extent. The fact that the ship is in a bowl of water by itself like that, you know. So... Take it with a pinch of salt, even if you may not agree with certain aspects of the imagery, I suppose. Uh, but I like this card. It's very whimsical, very nice, very cute. And it plays well when I'm doing readings with the Dreaming Way Tarot, which is an added bonus. <laughs> Clouds, you know, storm in a teacup. That's, that's the phrase that came to my mind when I saw this one. Mm -hmm. I like how the snake is also a woman, right? Because that is one of the meanings. <laughs> See? Sight. See, sometimes, again, the same, the, the same sort of set of people who look at who's looking where also find it important where the scythe is pointed. And see, the reason I don't follow that whole, you know, who's looking where business is because some sites you have the scythe pointing this side, some you have scythe pointing that side. And it just, it can be messy. Deck to deck, the reading will change, obviously, because wherever the scythe comes in, I don't want to do that. <laughs> I don't want to get into that. I'm like, okay, left and right. Let's let's go with that. That makes it easier for me to just just interpret. I don't have to, you know, be bogged down which deck I'm using and so forth. Because with the Lenormand, I think it's the symbols and the interpretations that matter. The placements of the symbols in the line that that's what matters. It's what I feel. So that's how I go with it. <laughs> Again, the fox can also be a foxy lady, so we have foxy lady here. Dog can also be a male best friend or male good friend. See, I like like how they have used this, uh, you know, people 
in the card imagery to convey the meaning. It's it's interesting. <laughs> A very interesting interpretation of the garden, isn't it, though? <laughs> ah, choices. Quite interestingly, this card is also, this is more like a maze to me, you know, than anything else. So, <laughs> If, if I remember correctly, the Gilded Reverie Lenormand has a specific maze card. That's interesting. So simple. Hard. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Simple. Man. Hmm. Lady. Right. No extra gentleman and lady cards. So this is your very standard, typical. The Norman deck, no extra cards. That's fine. That's fine. It's one of the cards that I genuinely, genuinely love in this deck is the Sun card. I guess you can see why. <laughs> Moon. The rabbit. <laughs> and there you have it. The very amazing Dreaming Way the Norman deck, which again. If you have the Dreaming Way Tarot, then I totally, totally will urge you to go ahead and get this deck, the Dreaming Way Lenormand deck, because when you're working with the Tarot and Lenormand, when you're doing readings, mixing these uh, two systems together, these two decks will really, really play well with each other because, and, and the imagery also really brilliant. It merges so beautifully with each other. So it's not, it's not, you know, sometimes when the imagery doesn't mix well or play well, it can be a jarring sort of a reading, especially for uh, readers who are very, very visual, uh, you know, visually sort of, uh, you know, visual intuitives or visual creators or, or whatever you want to put, you know, however you want to put it. Those who are visually sort of, you know, who <laughs> get into it, right? For me, anyhow, it, it matters, right? Because I, again, for me, it's all about the visuals. They have to match. They have to somehow speak to each other. This deck, brilliant with the Dreaming Way Tarot and also brilliant with other decks, many other decks. So again, go get this deck and enjoy. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching my video till the very end. I really appreciate it. Please hit the like button if you like this video. Please share this video with your friends on social media. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you have not done that already. And don't forget to follow me on social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and wherever you like or all over these places, wherever you prefer. And, you know, just have fun. <laughs> and I will come back again with another video pretty soon. Until then, stay good. Be good and play with your cards. Bye now.